getting more greens in every day, even if you're already on a vegan diet, can sometimes be a challenge. So this video is just to kind of motivate you and motivate me to get more greens in every single day and some simple ways to do that and also why it's so important to get more greens in during your day. I love green juices and smoothies and it's no secret if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I have probably at least one of those or two of those every single day. It's a great way to sneak in more of like the bitter leafy greens which are really good for you. Um, uh, just kind of put a large quantity in there rather than chewing them. But there's major benefits to chewing your leafy green vegetables and other vegetables as well. So I just wanna let you guys know just a few of the benefits of having more greens in your diet um, and leafy greens. And a lot of times the bitter, the more bitter the green, the more of a health benefit it has. So think about Swiss chard, kale, spinach, um, dandelion greens, um, watercress, those ones that maybe don't taste the best, those are going to give you the most health benefits. First and foremost, greens will help fuel your body and create more energy to get through your day. They really provide a sustained amount of energy um, to kind of keep you even throughout your day. Uh, they have a lot of B vitamins in them which actually help to fuel the body's energy source and so that is one reason that you want to eat more greens. Leafy greens prevent cognitive decline, so they're really good for your brain. Lutein, which is one of the compounds that is found in leafy greens, helps restore cognitive function. It helps your mind stay sharp, gives you like a lot of mental clarity. It has a neuroprotective role as we get older and as we age that really helps our brain function at its best. So definitely for brain health, it's very important to have leafy greens, but also not only leafy greens, other cruciferous vegetables and just vegetables in general are going to help every part of your body. Dark leafy greens contain a lot of vitamin K, which not only helps with blood clotting issues, but it also helps with a lot of different age-related um, diseases that creep up. So think about like heart disease or uh, just having fragile bones as you're older or having any kind of blockage in the kidneys and the arteries. Leafy greens really do help with that. It's amazing to me, when I was taking my plant-based certification uh, through e. Cornell University, um, one of the things that really stood out to me is Dr. Esselstyn's um, regimen for curing and reversing heart disease. So coronary heart disease and arterial buildup. Dr. Esselstyn's protocol and how he is curing and reversing heart disease with greens and with a plant-based diet is unbelievable. Um, it really went into depth in that uh, certification that I did. However, I'm going to link uh, down below or put up here a video that I found on YouTube where he's doing like a TED talk, which really keeps the whole situation very concise. I think it's maybe like 15 minutes of video, but it's unbelievable um, what he does uh, with just having six servings of leafy greens a day and how it can heal heart disease. It's truly phenomenal and something that everybody should hear about at least once. Having more vegetables and leafy greens in your diet is a great preventative measure for colon cancer. There was a 2011 ADA study that linked a higher intake of these vegetables with a decreased risk of colon cancer. So that's amazing. I mean, obviously it's very, it's very obvious that uh, the greens and the nutrients in greens are really good, but the fiber as well probably really is helpful to colon cancer. Now, contrary to popular belief, calcium is not found in its highest source in cow's milk. It's actually found in vegetables, in leafy greens, dark leafy greens. I feel like I said that probably a hundred times by now in this video. Dark leafy greens are a great place to get a source of calcium. Um, if you want to get your full daily recommended, you really have to get in those greens uh, and an easy way to do that would be to juice and just be able to put lots and lots of handfuls in there so you get those uh, important calcium and bone building effects. Leafy greens are also really great for our eyes. Um, I'm sure you've heard about so many people who go on raw diets and sometimes their eye color changes um, and that is really true. Those things can actually happen. But what the leafy greens do for your eyes is this. In particular, kale, mustard greens, dandelion greens. They are great sources of carotenoids, lutein, and zeaxanthin. I hope I said that right. These three actually help um, filter any high energy light that causes eye damage. So they're really healing to the eye. They also help improve your vision and decrease the chance of cataracts as well as decrease your uh, chance for glaucoma. So that's really, really great. So if you want some better vision, go ahead and eat up those leafy green vegetables. Leafy greens are great for lowering cholesterol if your cholesterol is high or if you um, have just gotten your cholesterol levels tested and they're maybe a little bit higher than normal. You wanna eat those greens intact, so in their whole form with the fiber um, intact. So either eating them steamed or raw. 
The liver actually uses cholesterol to make bile acids. When the bile acids bind with the fiber of the greens, it actually gets excreted from the body, which means that the liver actually has to use more cholesterol to make more liver bile acid, and then cholesterol levels are reduced. So, I mean, that's really wonderful. It kind of acts as a broom to just sweep out toxins. And it kind of, leafy green vegetables act as a broom to sweep out so many problems in our bodies from head to toe. It's good to note though that steamed uh, mustard greens and kale and some of the steamed more um, bitter greens are going to really help if you have cholesterol or heart disease or um, you're, you're in some kind of serious illness situation rather than just trying to add more vegetables to your diet, you do want to stick to the more bitter vegetables, the more bitter leafy greens. Those are going to help you the most and you're going to see the quickest turnaround. So when you go to the grocery store, make sure that you pick up things that are going to be appealing to you, but also things that are going to be really healthy for your body and that maybe if you don't like the taste of them, you can mask in a smoothie or a juice and they're still going to be very beneficial to you. So from smoothies to juices to salads to steaming vegetables, it's really easy to get that in. If you think about keeping the majority of your meals more fruits and vegetables with a side of something else, then that's going to be kind of a motivator to get you going. It's really easy to get more than six servings every single day um, so that you're really giving your body a fighting chance uh, for healing itself, repairing itself, and also just being uh, a better vehicle for you to uh, go through your life in in the future. This is the only body that we have and so it's really important to take care of it and greens are such a preventative way, an easy way to help you have a healthier life. So yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, getting more vegetables in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, let me know down below what you think and if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to talk with you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.